but let's go shopping. Shopping. <laughs> Tranquil, luxurious. luxurious. I wanted to look nice. I wanted to look nice. So today I'm going to be showing you not only a room transformation, but I'm going to be showing you the steps involved into creating this space. I'm very excited to show you everything we've done with this space, from picking the colors, to creating the concept, to shopping, to actually painting and transforming the space. And yes, I painted the space myself because we couldn't get a painter out in these current times. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started. Hi, my name's Dean McNamara, and I'm here because James is transforming my room. I like to go to the gym, I like to play the PlayStation, I like hanging out with my friends. <laughs> okay Dean, what are your expectations for the space? Well, I'm hoping my room will look a lot better if James f when he used to be his room. So I'm hoping it'll look like a grown-up's room. What would it look like before? It had a sh cream carpet, red walls. I don't want your room to look like. <laughs> like how it does right now. What are your priorities? Well, I don't f know. I want it to look nice. <laughs> it's okay, it look nice, okay. And what like is your colour scheme that you like? Grey. What's your brief? What you want to brief? What the f do you mean what's my it's brief? Like, what's okay, so the concept. <laughs> Creating the concept. This is a very exciting part of the design process. Um, and I'm excited to share it with you. So for this room, Basically, all Dean wanted was just an updated, fresh room with dark greys. That was all I was given. So um, I took that and I ran with it. So um, I know grey is so overdone at this stage. Like it's been done to death where it's kind of like grey isn't exciting anymore. So, so for that, I was like, okay, so how do we create something beautiful here that isn't something you'd see everywhere and that creates a bit of design integrity behind it. So I was like, let's add some wallpaper. <laughs> but um, wallpaper is expensive and Dean refused to pay. So I was like, right, color scheme. So um, I always suggest when you're painting your room, wherever it may be, the hallway, the living room, the kitchen, your bedroom, the gym, whatever you have, um, is to get samples. Samples are going to save your life because the colours on the colour swatches never look the exact same when they're on your wall because you have different lighting, whether it's your actual artificial lighting like your ceiling lights or natural lighting from your windows. It changes depending on the space. One colour could look completely different in your back room to those in your front room. So it's very important to get your colour samples. <laughs> so I got all the greys, I got all the blacks and I got all the whites um, just so I had a wide variety of colours to choose from and to see what suited the best because the darker colour in the store might have looked perfect but in real life it could be too dark or vice versa with the lighter one. So paint of choice would be Farron Ball. Now I always get it mixed with Fleetwood just because it brings the cost down. Um, I also love Fleetwood paint as well. I just love the colour tones in the Farron Ball range. For the walls I got Moles Breath, um, Railings and I also got Down Pipe. And then I also got strong white as well. Now for this, I either wanted to do the walls really dark and the skirting lighter, but not like, like a medium kind of tone, or like flip it, like have the skirting and the woodwork really dark and then the walls a lighter kind of mid-tone. Um, when I put the samples on the wall, I kind of was drawn more towards the ladder. <laughs> so like with the darker ones on the bottom and then the medium tone on top. Um, I just felt like because when you added in your duvets and your accessories, I think the dark would have been a bit too dramatic for that space because it's not a massive room. Now there is a lot of good lighting in there because it gets the sun from sun rising all the way to sunset. So it has good lighting throughout the whole day. So there are colors I got. So I just thought they created that kind of moodiness that I wanted to achieve in this space. See, I kind of done this a bit backwards. I picked the color scheme and then I wanted a concept where some normally I do the concept first and then I do the color scheme because I might be inspired by something I've chosen from the concept to go into the color scheme. But because in this instance, I was given the color scheme, <laughs> um, I kind of worked backwards. So color scheme and then the concept board. Okay, so 
concept. <laughs> For this space, I want it to be like a tranquil, luxurious, comfy, dark space that you can just go to and relax. And also like masculine whatever that means. <laughs> um, just for, you know, a space for Dean to just relax. When I was thinking about the paintwork, I kind of didn't want it to be all the one color because I love like making shapes with paint, like in the walls. I want to paint some sort of shape over by the TV area because I hate when things look too, I don't know, perfect. So I kind of want to do like an archway kind of at the corner over and then like have like shelving running into it. So the shelving can overlap the mid-tone and the lighter tone. And um, I just thought it created more of a dynamic look as well. Like when you're accessorizing, like when you're adding your bases and stuff, it kind of creates that dynamic. And also by doing this, it means you don't have, a, have to spend as much money on accessories because that is already like a feature in the space. Um, and it kind of just adds to architectural interest of the space, which I really liked. I have this amazing, amazing, amazing person I found. <laughs> amazing person. So she's a very talented um, sketch artist and she does concept boards now. Um, well, she's been doing it for a while, but like I've only recently discovered her, so I've only recently been able to get her to do mine for me. Um, and the concept you just seen on screen there was done by her. So I just wanted to give her a shout out and to say thank you so much. Um, any designers watching this, it's a great tool to use because portraying your ideas to your client can be difficult at times, especially if you're going for something that isn't linear and same pattern and whatever, like everyone else is doing. If it's something new, I think it's important to have a concept sketch as amazing quality as this one is, just to show them and translate your ideas to them with ease. So thank you so much, Garden Sketch Interiors for the concept for it. I'll have her Instagram and everything linked down below, so be sure to go and check her out. Like even for design inspiration because she's done a lot of sketches already, so do go check her out. Now, so after the concept board, now we have to go and approve it with the client <laughs> and get everything ordered, so let's go. Let's go shopping. <laughs> My favorite part of the whole designing and decorating process. Okay, so we're obviously going to have to hit up, you know, our regular spots like Zara, H&M, and see what they have first, and then, you know, maybe go into some other sites and see what's available there, but um, maybe made.com. But I mean, to be honest, I don't need that much. All I need is lamps, like table lamps, um, bedside tables, um, shelving, uh, curtains, a mirror, a ceiling light, bedding, a cushions, and a throw. And that should be it. Um, so let's see now. Okay, so like since we've created the concept now, um, the choosing the furniture is very easy because we already have secured kind of vibe and in the concept you kind of use furniture you're already thinking of anyway. Um, so it's just kind of like getting that furniture and buying it <laughs> and then completing this space. So let's see what's in furniture first. I mean, I would love to add like a rug, but like, I mean, the budget just isn't there. Oh my God, Zara, you're killing me. Mm, I'd love to get this for my room. Like, oh yeah. Oh, I cannot wait to be able to redecorate my room. Oh my God. It's gonna be amazing. I love the way they style all their um, items. So they just make it so, um, oh, that's lovely as well. Wooden side table. I think this something like this would work because it's simple and it's small and there's not much space beside the bed and also I mean I feel like it goes with everything so you're not really limited then with other furniture pieces in this space like if you wanted to change it up in the future like it would still work so um, I'm going to add this to my cart okay that's furniture let me see now um, back to Lighting, and let's see what lighting is available. Oh god, they kill it. They really kill it with the lighting. Oh, I love, I love the simplicity of this, yeah. I love the simplicity of that. Got them already before. Oh, I love this. Very mid-century, isn't it? I think we're going to go with this here. 
because I mean it was in my comfort board. <laughs> so I obviously want to get them. I just think they're just simple, they're a simple shape. They kind of bring the lightness back down into the back down into the kind of main area of the room. They have a really nice mirror I seen here. It's the simple, it's the cheapest one I could find for the size of it for that same like look and vibe that I want. Um, so, I'm probably gonna get it. I got this one of my previous projects, if you haven't saw that transformation, do go ahead and check it out. Oh, look at the lovely like arch one, I love that. Oh, uh, here she is. Here she is, a Damascus. Like 200 euro for a mirror of this size and shape and like style is very good, I think. So, I mean, it was really a no brainer buying it, obviously, so. Add it to cash. I'm gonna get the delving from Ben Simpson. Let me go here. Ben Simpson is like the best place for these um, solid wooden shelves. So I definitely check them out. Um, let me see, I'm gonna go with Contemporary because I don't want that very rustic look. I do want something a bit more streamlined. I'm gonna get the 15 centimeter depth because I don't think it needs the uh, 22 centimeters. Um, okay, so length, I'm gonna get a meter. And I'm gonna get dark oak or Tudor oak. Mm, dark oak. Yep. I'm gonna get dark oak and that's it. So I have to crash here. Never mind, I wanna get the 22 centimeter one because 15 centimeters a bit is just a bit too narrow for me. So I'm gonna get to 22 centimeter with the 5 centimeter thickness. Um, and then in two of them by meter. Let's go. Purchase. Thank you very much. Okay, and now let's just wait for all of our items to arrive. I'm very, very, very excited. Okay, so first the big box of stuff arrived. I just want to kind of open up and go through and see if everything came correct. Make sure you don't have to return anything because that's a nightmare. I'm so excited to see all this like come together now, to be honest. See, I restrained myself from opening this until I have the camera out so I can open it with you. <laughs> um, and it's been like a few days. Oh, that was a close one because that could have dropped. Well, base. Oh, that's lovely. I really like that. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. So this is the bed spread that's going to go at the bottom. Like, honestly, this is going to be so nice together. Okay, I'm dying to see these lamps. Like, dying to see these lamps. Ooh, okay. This is so neat, oh my god. Oh, these are like way nicer than I thought they were gonna be. Like they're way like bigger than I thought they were gonna be as well, which is a bonus. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty cool. Oh cool, oh my god, I love this. They are neat. And that's everything. I'm going to show you one item of like a sneak peek of how the room will look. You have to give your honest opinions on it. Okay, so. That's not going in my room. <laughs> what do you think of it? Okay, <laughs> let's have a look at the final space. I like the mirror because I love looking at myself. <laughs>